Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ Programming Session. In today's session, I'm going to talk about file I.O. That's the part 6. That's the last session in which I'll be covering most of the scenarios what we have seen from part 1 to part 5. I do expect you have already seen my part 1 to part 5 because part 6 is just a revisional session in which I'm going to cover all the concepts what I've shown you till now. That is which are the different classes, methods, what are the different file modes, how to handle exception handlings in files, some of the new concepts but most of them are being just repeated ones which I've shown already shown in my part 1 to part 5. So if you have already seen those sessions, that's fine. If you don't have seen it, I do expect then at least you have the minimum understanding what I'm going to say. But I do recommend you to please have a look at it 1, 2, 5, the parts which I have created in my previous sessions. So let's understand these concepts with the help of mind map. In C++ file I.O., there are basically the major header files and classes. Let's start with it. I've divided this complete session into four major parts. Major operations or you can say which are the types of things you want to do it major methods modes and major header files okay so first divide it first section that is C++ if anyone says I want to do any file IO related task in C++ he has to include fstream.h for the turbo C and if you are using the new version of the C++ compiler or else you are using VC++ then you just simply need to include fstream without a dot .h now as I've told in my previous sessions like fstream is a header file which is having three major classes ofstream, ifstream and fstream ofstream is used for writing ifstream is used for reading the files and fstream is a class which is used for reading and writing both simultaneously on a single file so if you want to read and write both then you have to create fstream if you simply want to read the data you have to use ifstream okay so that's the first part completed second comes is the what are the different modes available in the files the different modes majorly available in files are that is in and out we know in is for read and out is for writing other than you have different types of mode that is awp append at that means it is same as append plus it provides an additional functionality that means you can update the content also in between the files also binary that is to specify that you are using the binary data to storing purpose in that file then you can specify the mode of the file as binary trunk is a mode which will delete all the contents okay of the file if you specify this mode then all the contents of the file will automatically be deleted if you're using ios scope resolution out out automatically calls the trunk also so if someone says i'm using ios scope resolution out only that means it is it will use the trunk internally and delete the, all the contents and creates a new file yes it is quite possible in C++ that is you can you combine different modes that is you want to use AT and binary then you can say I use scope resolution AT pipe sign I use scope resolution binary so this is the second part that is modes the third comes the major operations you want to do that is what are the operations you would like to have it you want to create a file so in creation you can just create and using the using OF stream or else you can use the fstream class and create an object but specifying I use scope resolution out mode whenever you specify out mode then it automatically creates a new file for you then comes the opening the file if someone says I want to open the file then he is having two options either he can use the concept of constructor that is when he is creating the object at that time he can specify the file name and second option is he can use the open method then comes the third the option he is want to file find I have created the file I've opened the file then comes this I want to write some data into the file then different methods are available then comes he want to read the file there are different methods for that also we'll be seeing both of them and finally if the task is over he finally wants to close the file or want to release the file and the object then he can use the close methods so we have completed the third part also now comes the last and the final part of our C++ file IO that is major methods which are the methods we are having first and most important method is the open method like I have explained previously that if you want to open existing files you can use open method or constructor so if you are using open method one option is you can specify only the file name in the case of OF stream and IF stream. So if you only specify the file name then default mode for OF stream is out that is IO scope resolution out and IO stream is IO scope resolution in. But in case of F stream you have to specify the mode that whether you want to open for write mode or read mode which particular one. Second option is comes as the close method that I have already explained that if the task is over you want to clear you want to just release the file and object then you have to close you have to call the close method. The third method comes the clear that we have not seen till now that is the reason if suppose you are reading the file using while 
and while you read the content of the file in that case what happens is as and when it reaches to the end of the file and still tries to read the content so it generates an uf lock that is uf specifies that uh, you have already reached the end of the file okay so as and when you get that uf lock then you further you can't read and write it so to release your log of uf log you have to call obj dot clear this is only used if suppose you are using while read that is read until you get into some end of the file if you are using my concepts like i have i have manually counted how many objects are there then you don't have to use this method but you should know that thing that there is a possibility that you use while loop and read the method there is simple nothing is di difficult in that simply create a while loop and in that you specify the read method so read instead of putting read inside the while loop you are just putting in the while loop only so here you are telling read until you get into the end of the file so as in if you do such concepts it will make an uf lock as in when it reaches to the end of the file because it has tried even though it is reached the end of the file it has tried to read the file so uf lock is there to release that lock you have to use the clear method putters and getters as a me special methods which are used for reading and writing single characters I may have not shown it, but it is sim quite simple. If you want to simply want to read and write a single character, then you can use that put and get methods. Yes, exception handling methods are the different ones which I have not explained in my sessions because I didn't felt it has to be that important. But I'll explain here a little bit about it. Yes, it is good. It is good habit to use these methods. There are special methods are there for exception handling in files. That is, we do consider that the file exists. We do consider that we have the permission. But it it may possible you don't have permission. There is no such file exists. So handling such exception handling C plus plus file I/O has provided some methods like UF is method with the help of which we can identify that. Uh, whether it has reached to end of the file fail is a method we can with the help which we can identify with the read and write operation which I have tried to perform whether it has formed successful or not similarly if something everything goes fine good returns a true value similarly for the bad also so such methods are there do explore that methods also if you find any time needful please do explore these these are the methods are available in C++ for exception handling in C++ now comes the important methods other than these that is the read and write method whenever you want to write a block of data okay or array or an object in that case the best option is the read and write method so object dot read character star m person is the object you specify the address of the object and specify the size of the object so these are the two methods most probably used generally for reading and writing then comes the finally the four methods the tell g seek p seek seek g and all so i hope so you have already seen my previous sessions in which i have explained all these things but i just repeated the tell g and seek g both are the methods for the read pointer and tell p and seek p are both are for the write pointers tell p will tell you where is the current position of your write pointer and seek with the help of seek p we can move our current write pointer to any desired positions similarly seek g helps us to move but it is helps to move the read pointer and tell g tells us the current pointer but that to of read so these are the four major parts which i have explored uh, to you people in my different videos i hope so you have cleared all the doubts if you have still any queries regarding these options or any of them or any particular topic you have not understood you can email me you can write comment to this video and all the necessary codes of my previous videos is already available in my blog we know the best dot wordpress dot com please have a look on it and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe my videos if you have any comments any questions feel free to ask me thank you and have a nice day